Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. My channel is still pretty new, it's just over a year old, so if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. If you've subscribed already, if you subscribe today, thank you all so much. Thank you so much for being here with me. I love you all, everyone, subscribed or not. Those of you who are new and don't know, I'm also an author. I'm writing a series. It's a action adventure love story and superhero twin flames. It's called Perception, the two yet one. This is book one and I've read this book aloud live on Facebook and uploaded all of those videos here to YouTube for you to enjoy for free. Just know that book two is already published and available. And all the links that you need for my books are in the description box below. Also, if you would like to schedule a personal reading, the information to contact me is in, also in that description box. So welcome, welcome back everyone. I am so happy to be here uh, with my new um, beautiful setup here for Autumn. I love Autumn. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoy my new autumn setup here. I've got, uh, I was moving this because I couldn't see it, but on top of this Merlinite, I found a teeny tiny little cornucopia. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> and, um, you know, uh, I like to have my abundance visual. So even though it's really teeny, look at how cute it is. I just love it. And then I'll put it on top of the Merlinite because this is um, bringing in abundance for us all. I'll just put it right there where we can see what, oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> well, that's going to be fun. All right, everyone. So um, uh, this, this is my new autumn setup. Um, today, uh, I've got, I'm going to be using some decks that I got specifically for autumn. And it's this beautiful tarot, the Tarot Mucha. Look at this. Um, yeah, I bought this in spring specifically for autumn. Autumn is one of my favorite times of year. Um, it's my birthday time of year in October. And um, I just thought that this, this was just a perfect deck for autumn. I mean, just look at the back of the cards. <laughs> it's so pretty. And um, so I'm going to be using that tarot at the end of the reading. I'm going to use my new oracle, the Vintage Wisdom Oracle by Victoria Mosley. This is another oracle that I bought specifically um, for autumn and winter time. And it just, it's so beautiful. It goes really well um, with the Mucha tarot. And... Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to read out of the book for this uh, Vintage Wisdom Oracle, but I ha also have the Tea Leaf Fortune card here, um, deck by Ray Hepburn and illustrated by Shauna Alexander to uh, get any clarification. I don't know if I'm going to read from the book or not. If I don't read from the book, then I'll probably get more tea leaves. And of course, as usual, I'll, um, if I need to clarify, I'll use the Tarot of the Cloisters with Michelle Leavitt. Today is the harvest full moon, so happy full moon. That's why I've got my full moon out here. Um, it is orange, <laughs> but you can barely see that. If I just turn these lights off for a second, maybe you could see it. No, not really. Well, okay. Anyway, so as a reader, I read major arcana cards as messages about your free will. I read... Um, I'm, did I say major? Minor arcana cards as messages about your free will. I read major arcana cards as messages about your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint is the plan that you wrote for your own life before you incarnated so that you would encounter and hopefully learn certain important lessons of life that when learned raise the vibration and wisdom encoded in your soul. Our free will is so powerful it is possible to lower in vibration during a lifetime but if you can manage to rise lifetime after lifetime or even significantly during one lifetime such as this one you may become what we call enlightened like buddha jesus taught many others isis um, we know that these folks uh, affected a great deal of positive change for humanity and for our planet so when i'm looking at your major arcana cards it's a lot like looking at your destiny but it isn't exactly because of your very powerful free will 
there are times where we have, it seems like we've got no control over what's going on. Um, uh, that's because we wrote it that way. And uh, those times are indicated by the Wheel of Fortune card or an unusually large number of major arcana cards. You have neither. Let's get started. Gosh, these cards are so beautiful. I, I just love decorating like this. I've got this little leaf here. It's so wonderful. Okay, so Virgo, for uh, what's at the heart of everything for you right now is um, the Eight of Wands in the reverse. This is a miscommunication. This is no communication. Uh, this is sometimes an inability to make a decision. At other times, this can be the arrows of jealousy or some sort of dispute inside of you, just a, um, or in, inside of some sort of, I don't know, just some sort of dispute. String, stingings of conscious arguments, okay? Um, a dispute, when I, I meant internal, an internal dispute which isn't like um, inside of you, actually. What that means is like um, a dispute like where you work or in the privacy of your home, own home. Sorry guys, I'm a little bit off today because um, one of my tooths, to tooths, teeth cracked and uh, my jaw is ra rather stiff and uh, I have a dentist appointment, but um, please forgive me if I'm a little bit uh, if I sound like my jaw is stiff or uh, if I'm just a little off. So, okay, so the, um, the, um, the energy that's crossing this non-communication is, is possibly communication. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Now, this is a knight, the knight of swords. You can see that right there. This is the knight of swords and it's always read in the upright. Okay, so this is somebody, this is a Gemini energy. It could be a Gemini. Um, it's, uh, Wands is fire energy, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Um, this uh, Eight of Wands is usually a Sagittarius card for me, and this is uh, an Air card, Lib Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. However, like I said, this is usually in a, a Gemini. Now, Knights are all bringers of change. Um, this one is the fastest one. I'm trying to figure what I'm feeling here. What am I feeling here with this? Okay, so for some of you, you're having a problem. You might be having some arguments with the people that you work with because Wands is a career, usually. This is also uh, your spiritual path fire is your spiritual path and this would be um, being determined okay this would be um, speaking up this could be an air sign that is being very headstrong okay so this problem that's going on here whether it's miscommunication or no communication it's this person is being very opinionated they're uh, speaking out for themselves um, so they may even, they may stick up for themselves, but I just feel kind of, um, like maybe this person is the antagonist here in this, 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 um, this issue. Now for others of you, this is no communication whatsoever. And this is you feeling like you want to rush in with some communication because swords are communication. And like I said, this is the fastest one, okay? You want to speak up for yourself. This knight doesn't hesitate to stand up and speak up for himself or herself. But this, this can be your ability to stand up for yourself, but it also could be war, you know? It could also be being defensive. So let's see what else we get. Oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, what I was feeling with that Knight of Swords, here we go. This I think what you've got here is an air sign that is feeling pretty cranky. 
This is the Queen of Swords. We'll just take a look at how beautiful she is first. Yeah, when she's right side up, she is um, she's an inspiration. Sometimes, though, she can be, yeah, like when she's in the reverse. This is somebody who is um, bitter, somebody who doesn't trust, somebody who speaks sharp words, somebody who's very angry. This I'm feeling there might be some bigotry going on here. I don't know why that just came out, okay? There may be some deceit, but there's malice, bigotry, sharp words, okay? So this person, um, yeah, maybe somebody isn't communicating with this feminine air sign who is obviously very strong in this knight energy and this queen energy um this this is really bothering them whether it's no no communication or miscommunication uh it's jealousy yeah yeah, see guys, when I um when I read, I got to just start talking and then the things that I say will either sound correct or they'll sound um wrong. And so somebody's jealous. Somebody uh, an air sign here is jealous and they're being really mean about it. Now, here we've got Okay, got it. <laughs> This is your recent past, and it's moving out of your life at this time. And this is the Four of Wands, more Wands, Fire, Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is like a marriage, happy home, partnerships. This can be a twin flame union. This can be living in the country. <laughs> Gosh, these are such wonderful cards for autumn. These, uh, the Equinox, I believe, is on, what is today? I think it's Wednesday or Thursday that autumn will uh, begin. But yeah, there was some harmony in in your recent past. Uh, you may have been married or um, halfway to to marriage. You may have been involved in some um, partnerships that seemed harmonious and um, prosperous. But that's moving out of your life at this time. And these energies can always come back in. For me as a reader, these two cards here are future cards. So we'll just grab this top one here. What you've got here is the three of cups in the reverse. So this is water, energy, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. This is a celebration when it's right side up. This is friends. However, uh, in the future, I think that you're going to be overindulging a little bit. You might be drinking a little bit too much. You may even be a little promiscuous, but this is um, excessive pleasure, okay? This is too much um, partying, okay? And when this happens, sometimes this can bring even more delays, right? So... Um, See what else we got here. Oh, okay, yeah, yep. So this is feeling a lot like the um, the four of ones going out of your life in this at this time. What you've got here is the ten of coins. Okay, the ten of pentacles, and it's in the reverse. I'll just show it to you, right side up. Yeah, this is a, a like a happy home that is not so happy anymore okay this is um your money may have been messed with um uh you may have not received inheritance okay there's trouble with your money or inheritance and um maybe you're spending too much okay but i think this has to do with this this issue that's going on with this eight of wands um, 
yeah, you had a certain amount of harmony. And you know what I'm feeling right now? It's everybody, when I hear uh, ber uh, inheritance, I thought of birthright. It's everybody's birthright to be happy. But you may be overdoing it a little bit here. Okay? And so this is going to mess with that harmonious, happy home. This is going to mess with your money. If it isn't this issue going on right here. All right. Oh, looks like we've got a king here. Yep. This is your hope. Now, this is the King of Cups, but in your hope section, he's in the reverse. So, this is not a good king when he's in the reverse, okay? But there's one thing about him when he's in the reverse. This is everything in moderation. When he's in the reverse, it's kind of like the temperance card right now I'm feeling for this particular um, read. Yeah, look at him. Look at he's he looks like he's partying hard, like he's two fisted drinking. You know, he's like, Woo, yeah, you know. <laughs> so um you may be hoping that um well, you know, sometimes Okay, when I see the king or queen of cups, sometimes this is the king or queen of your heart. We've got this queen right here, and she's being really angry. She's being really... Um, I'm trying not to cuss on my channel right now. <laughs> but the B word, let's just say that, okay? So in a way, you may be hoping that this person is going to be jealous or possessive. And, um, you know, maybe this is the person that you've got your eye on. But this is what this means in the reverse, is this... This king of cups, this um, masculine um, water sign, who may or may not be a water sign, but this is jealousy. Okay, this is injustice. This can be scandal. This could be, you know, I just feel like you're overdoing it. You're going to be overdoing it. I, I yeah, I actually, I think intuitively, um, as I speak it, I just feel like you want to party hard then you're going to. Um, now just remember though, when you're on your spiritual path, oh, when you're on your spiritual path, try to keep things in moderation. I think that's why I felt this here. Um, if you overdo anything, you get out of balance. When, when you're in balance with the not too much, not too little type of moderation energy that's temperance, that's when you're your own twin flame, okay? So that we have this um, energy over here that's moving out of your life at this time, which is the 1111 card, which is the twin flame energy, okay? So I feel like you're moving out of balance, and um, it's because you... You've been stabbed in the back. This is your current state of being. And this is the Ten of Swords. So you've gotten the, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. So you might want to go ahead and look up angel number 1010. Two tens means something's about to end here, though. This backstabbing is getting pretty close, I'm feeling. Um, with this, this ending here and this ending... Yeah, I, I think that you're just done. You're done with all of this. Um, this is mean. This is really mean. And this person is is probably going off to war, which is why... It, um, so this Queen of Swords is this person, this feminine energy, which can be a man too, okay? When we don't do gender on this channel, but I feel like... I feel like now what happened is this person is just um, is jealous of something. We've got jealousy and possessive, possessiveness over here. This person is in like this bad place. And so what they did is they became the knight because it's the knight that goes to war. Okay, so that it's like this person is 
may be at war with you or with others around you, but this is definitely showing me that this person has been able to stab you in the back multiple times. You know, um, your happiness, your harmony, your 1111 energy, which you also may want to look up angel number 1111. It's moving out of here because of this, this person with all these swords, you know, This is your fear card, and this is your only major arcana card here in this reading, and this is the moon. Another Pisces energy here, though, okay, because, so this, the king of cups is a Pisces. Pardon me. I hiccup, I hiccup a little bit. I don't know why I tend to get like that when I do my readings. Um, yeah, so two Pisces cards. So there may be a Pisces involved here, but um, it doesn't have to be. It looks like this is very strong air energy, like it totally could be a Gemini. Um, yeah. Now, this is um, secrets. There, I'm a, You're afraid that there's secrets and deception that you're probably afraid that this person is planning something against you. I think that you may be afraid of um, someone's mental illness as well, because this seems really out of control, okay? This is war. Somebody's gone to war, and this is really, um, it may be against you. So I think that that's what you're afraid of, and you may intuitively know this. You know, this is the moon. Also, this is the full moon today, the full harvest moon. So with the full moon energies, try to um, meditate and put out a happier type of energy, okay? And I, I don't mean like partying too much, okay? Um, I mean meditate. And um, you know, this isn't just secrets, though. What I'm feeling here is that, yeah, you have intuition, and you are. It looks. Look at how she looks like she's kind of deep in thought. Like you kind of know that there's secrets. You kind of know that this person may have more in store for you or others, and um, that's why you fear it. You're just like, uh-huh, yeah, because look, this is your potential outcome, which usually comes before these two future cards, okay? This outcome card, um, like say the next week, will often end up in one of these positions. And so what we have here is the nine of wands, and you're feeling very defensive, Okay. But I would like to point out here that, yes, you're very defensive. Yes, you're, but you're standing your ground. And look at you've got all the power in the world that you need to defend yourself. You've won nine battles. Yeah, and this is the wounded warrior, okay? You, so maybe this person, because we started out with the eight. The eight, and then here's the nine. So we started with the eight, and we ended with a nine. That's a progression. It's the exact same um, suit as well. This is wands. Okay? So this war here, of course, you're going to be feeling very defensive. But you're going to need to be patient. You're going to need to stay calm. Okay? Watch that insecurity. You don't need to be insecure because this card... In the Toth deck is called strength. You are in the midst of rising from this this darkness up to the sun. Okay? This has an element of the moon too. This has an element of arrows as well. Stay on your path. You know, this moon card talks about false friends, okay? I think you know that these are not really your friends because here's the underlying energy at the bottom of the deck. 
This is the Five of Cups. This is the Crying Over Spilled Milk card. You see? These three cups have spilled. Um, they'll never have what was in it back. You can't put it back. Okay? And she is in mourning, but she doesn't see that there's still a blessing behind her, which is the Two of Cups. And so I, this is the underlying energy. So I think what this is telling you, Virgo, is that, yeah, this, this situation that you're going through right now, um, you've lost. You've had losses. You may have lost money. You definitely lost harmony. You lost a certain amount of peace. But there's a hidden blessing, and it's the Two of Cups. I think this is going to bring a partnership or a twin flame union if you um, continue to stay on your path and moderate. Not too much, not too little. Yeah, because you, you want full happiness. This is the Sun card. Gosh, isn't it beautiful? Let me just show it to you right side up. Now, the sun card, this is the happiest card in the deck, but you haven't, you, you were happy, you know, with that four of wands energy, but it wasn't your full happiness. So, you know what I mean? You do have some happiness still in your life. It's just, um, it just hasn't fully come in yet. All right, let's see what our new oracle deck says look at the back gosh those are beautiful these see how well these go these are just like all vintage and can i can i do this right there so uh, let's see these these are not as flexible as like my friend um april's deck but they probably will be after I've been using them for a while. I just love all the little gnomes, you know. Um, if you guys were with me in the springtime, I had fairies and gnomes all set up like a little enchanted forest on here. And uh, I couldn't believe it when I saw that I had autumn time fairies and gnomes and I was so excited for their little autumn time houses and stuff they're so cute this is a this is a joy for me all right let's see okay okay so it looks like they want me to read these possibly um, just intuitively Oh, I can see I'm going to have to get like a little piece of tape and tape that onto that. Let's see what we got first to see if we need our tea leaves at all. Okay. Oh, look at how beautiful. Okay. So here's what I'm getting from these three really beautiful cards here. Okay. This issue, okay, your, your power, okay, um, your spirit guides want you to remember your power. Please focus, focus. Thank you. All right. So remember your power, okay, but in this particular issue that's going on for you your power is going to be found in your discernment look at how adorable this is and your gratitude okay because like i was saying here just be grateful for these two cups that are still there be grateful for the future that's coming okay and so here's this this is reminding me of this queen okay i feel like there's a new queen out there who is smiling who is the true queen or king of your heart and yeah because look at this rose this is love so be grateful that it's coming uh it may very well be a twin flame union okay um 
So stay grateful for what you do have. Not, not just your future, okay? For everything that you have. Whenever you feel really sad, that's a good moment to sit down and list out everything that you feel gratitude for. But like I said, this gratitude is, and is part of your power. And in here, this looks like another queen, okay? So I just feel like this, yeah, you're being told that your power is in your discernment and your gratitude, okay? So discernment also is, um, oh, okay, I just realized what they're doing in this adorable picture. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, okay? So, yeah, yeah, focus on your discernment. And it will help you, I don't know, this is looking like a compass to me right now, okay? So if you focus on your discernment, it'll help you know which way to go. Oh, for crying out loud, look at what else they have. This one, is this a compass? It is a compass. I don't have my glasses on, guys. It is a compass. Yeah. Okay, so this is, it's going to tell you where to go, um, you know, and then here's this zodiac around her head. Like, what sign is this person? You know what sign they are. And, you know, maybe you can figure out them a little bit better by knowing about their sign and, and, and where they came from in the world. Here's this map of the world or something behind them. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and get some tea leaves here because they're just so cute haven't used them in a long time and they have a lot of interesting messages I have to get that um, it's a really large deck that I personally cannot shuffle in one large deck so I have to do it in two piles so getting one. All right. Let's see what else we get. Whoa. Whoa. Have to get that other one that fell on the floor. Yeah. This is one of the reasons I like to use this at the end because you get a lot of messages, a lot of on point interesting messages. All right. Oh, let's just put them all all together. All together now. All right. Let's see what they say. A sincere wish will be granted. Yeah. See, that's part of the gratitude. Yeah, something, <clears throat> pardon me, there's something meant for you here. This is, I'm, I'm feeling like this is a test, you know? This is a test for you to learn before you get involved with um, a twin flame relationship. Nest, an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. Yes, it is. That's this ten of pentacles in the reverse. This is the four of wands over here that's moving out of your life okay bear danger especially in money matters yep this is what i've been saying you, this ten of pentacles somebody may be trying to steal your money or your inheritance discord among friends or family right so yep this is okay so right this is your friends you may be partying too hard, but this is also saying that this is this whole quarrel is part of your friends. And, and then over here, you've got family. So, wow. So this says it says friends or family. I'm thinking you might have trouble with your friends and your family. This because this is the friends card and this is the family card. Holy God. Boy, Virgo door opportunities are waiting for you. That's right. There is always, use your discernment 
someone is behaving stupidly. Yeah, it's probably this Queen of Swords in the reverse. Like I said, I got bigotry from her. I don't usually get that. Flowers, happiness. Oh, maybe you'll get a bouquet of flowers or give someone a bouquet of flowers. I don't know, but um, I believe this happiness is coming for you. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate, right? That we started with fire, we ended with fire. The eight of wands and the nine of wands, wands are fire. Okay, so, wow. Lobster, financial pinch. Yeah, yep. I'm going to put this up here with your ten of pentacles. Butterfly, a change for the better. Yeah, okay, so like when this is over, you know, what if you separate yourself from these people? Then that's going to be a change for the better. That's for sure. Chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. See, this is what I'm thinking. It's like um, this happy family is important to you. So maybe you thought some friends would be good, would be like a good party or family or something. And maybe they're acting up. And this is why your family and your friends are having a hard time. But it's really somebody new that's meant to come into your life. And this other person is just causing chaos or person or people. Okay. But someone is, um, that's the two of cups that I was saying in this five of cups. Stay grateful that this two of cups is coming because somebody is obviously coming. Okay. Now the two of cups can be a partnership. It doesn't have to be love. Boot. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Oh, okay. So what is it that you need to do? What is your goal? Okay. So that you're going to have to use your discernment. You're going to have to understand what your power um, in any situation is. What, what power do you have? Wait a minute. This is a compass too. That's the compass as well. Hmm. See no evil. And look at how she's looking away. Let this be your compass. Let it lead you to this new queen who is happiness and joy and Oh, look at the butterfly. Okay, I don't know if those are butterfly wings. Or they look kind of like butterfly wings, but they could be moths. But um, where was the butterfly? A change for the better. See? This new person. There's somebody else meant for you. Rose. Romance is in the air. See? Wow, I just got chills. And yeah, look. Like I was saying, there's this rose on here. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Okay. Do, please don't overindulge. Somebody might take advantage of you. This, this right here could even be as simple as getting too drunk around somebody and then they steal your wallet or they steal your ID and start using your identity or something, be careful. Camel, persevere and you will overcome problems. That is this as well. This is determination and perseverance, okay? I just heard fight fire with fire. Oh, we got fire in the middle. Got fire at the end here, or at, in the middle of all of it. And spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Oh. Right. <sighs> then you need to heal from this heartache. Okay, so when it comes to this new future, I, I, it looks like you've got a really good new future coming in here, Virgo. But it looks like you um, are going through some lessons. You may very well be being prepared uh, for a twin flame union. Okay, so what that means is that... Um, it's time to heal that broken heart, go inside and 
really um, address all the things that bring you sadness and um, do your best to heal and uh, learn your powers, your discernment, stay grateful, stay patient, stay uh, walk in that middle line of moderation, and I think it's all going to come in for you. Um, like I said, today is the full moon. That's when the moon's power is at its fullest. So you may want to do a full moon uh, meditation that spirit guides you because spirit is with you and spirit is going to show you the way. Spirit wants you to know that um, spirit knows what you want in life. Um, it is this happy family life, apparently. And it looks like you're just going through a lot of stuff that is teaching you. Okay, so discernment, gratitude, and power. Learn about those things, and I think that you're going to be good. Um, just stay in that gratitude, okay? And don't forget, you've got lots of power. You, this is this wounded warrior, okay? They they can be very defensive because they've been attacked a lot. Like this this uh, nine, uh, I'm sorry, ten of swords. Of course, of course, a person like this would be defensive. However, this person is very skilled now. This person knows how to defend herself. She knows um, that she can defeat anybody now. And all she's doing is kind of resting up so that this next battle that comes in, she's going to win because she's won all the others. She's won all of these wands. She won this eight of wands. She won over the eight of wands. So she's, she's going to win. Okay, so this is you, this is your energy, not this other queen or king or whatever, whoever you're dealing with right now, this insecure person. So yeah, this is, this is what you're hoping for. This insecure person who's possessive and jealous. They're dishonest. Okay, this is an artistic temperament. This is dishonesty. This is a person without virtue. This is injustice. You, this is not somebody that you want to be with, but you're heartbroken. And so, so it's hard. I know it's hard, Virgo, but you got this. All right. Well, um, let's see. You all, Like I said, you only have one major arcana. So most of this is uh, part of your free will. Okay. But when it comes to the major arcana that you do have, I think this has a lot of messages. This is telling you, use your discernment for your fears. Don't let your, your intuition, when you know something unsavory is coming at you, don't let it steal your power. Understand that you know what's coming, and that is your power. This discernment is part of your power. So this person is obviously, um, they have some mental issues as well. And I think you know that too. Okay. Now I'm looking at these two towers. You thought this person was your twin flame. I don't think they are. This is the deception of this relationship. Because spirit is bringing the true one in. But it's this person was important because it's showing you which direction to take. This whole compass stuff over here going on with these two cards... Um, it, you, you probably don't know which way to go at this moment, but your discernment is what's going to help you figure out which way to go. All right, Virgo, that's what I have for you at this time. I hope you enjoyed your reading. See you next time.